Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Shabu Sen, which is a Japanese barbecue and sushi place in downtown Vancouver. So I was at this place about a year ago, the first time I was in Vancouver. Me and my friend Liam stopped here for lunch and we definitely very much enjoyed ourselves. Um, so here I came back with my friend Scott to really kind of try everything out again. We were at a uh, dinner menu this time, so not a lunch menu. Um, so the menu was supposed to be a little bit more expansive and the overall cost was I believe about $33 a person. Um, but it was a all-you-can-eat, so essentially you just had a piece of paper, you filled out what you wanted, the amount of both the barbecue items and the sushi items, and they would bring them out. So what this place was most memorable for the first time I went was absolutely having these massive, massive, massive pieces of sashimi. In fact, the biggest pieces of sashimi I've ever seen in my life. I remember the lunch menu being kind of limited, and so I was really hoping that the dinner menu would have more options in regards to um, like the variety of rolls, the variety of different sushi we could get, the variety of sashimi we could get. However, I'm not going to lie, there, it really was a very limited menu. <clears throat> I would say to, in total there was maybe 10 different types of sushi you could get, whereas I know a lot of places would have a lot, lot more. One thing that is very true about this place, it is very like authentic Japanese, and it's very, well, I'm gonna kind of gonna call it kind of traditional style sushi if that makes sense. So like all the sushi pieces, and all the rolls, the maki rolls, the hand rolls, etc. I'm gonna I don't want to refer to them as plain, but they are very basic, like a very traditional style. Like whereas if you go to a more posh. North Americanized style of sushi, you have all these crazy uh, additions and all these different thingy thingy things. But really, this is just like straight up, mostly fish and rice, um, and or you know whether it's the avocado roll, it's just avocado and rice, or you know, well, I mean the sushi or the seaweed, of course. But very like basic, um, so very very basic. Huge pieces, though. I mean, in regards to the pieces appearing on the sushi and on the sashimi, especially the sashimi. I mean, just like bricks, bricks of fish, like literally eating fillets, not even just pieces of fillets, but literally like whole fillets um, when you order like a tray of sashimi. Um, we also went for some of the barbecue. <clears throat> There's a piece of tuna, like just huge, huge, huge pieces. We also went for some, some of the barbecue. Um, we did some of the pork, we did some of the chicken, some of the beef, although I myself wasn't really into it, and Scott, we, we had a bit of it, just to say we had it and tried it, but definitely we were more focusing on the sushi. There I had some avocado rolls. I like to take the avocado rolls and mix it with um, a piece of sashimi, uh, aka a piece of fish, and it's kind of like making a glorified or even larger maki roll in my mouth. I like the kind of umami richness of the uh, avocado and the soy sauce and then of course the well fish <laughs> the fishiness of the fish um, so really well, this place again was we're really given credit for it's just the huge portions but eh, variety was limited and although everything wasn't bad we really didn't have too too many items either. We were like, this is absolutely exceptional. Um, the tuna was good. The tuna is definitely a different kind of uh, tuna that I've never really seen before. It's kind of lighter in color. Um, and then the salmon, I mean the salmon, of course, is salmon. That there is what they're calling, I believe it's called an Alaskan roll or California roll. Their version of California roll is a lot different than one I am. I'm used to California rolls often either being all vegetarian and or having like a deep fried shrimp in it. Um, this was not the case for them, but they had like kind of like a nice crab salad in it, and again, between them and the Alaskan rolls, there was times we weren't really sure what exactly we were eating, but it was pretty good. Maki rolls were good, Scott went with some of the hand rolls, he really likes those things, um, and he enjoyed them as well. So at this point, we are just like deep into the sushi, I mean, and especially the sashimi. Sushi, sashimi, um, now we're getting into some of the barbecue, like just countless, countless, countless orders at this point. Um, in fact, well, I won't tell you how many we actually did, but I mean, I would hate to actually see <clears throat> the amount of fillets and fish they had to cut up just to <clears throat> provide us what we ordered. If you can't tell, I have a cold, by the way, um, so I kind of sound like a frog, but hey, I mean, we're eating sushi, so how can you go wrong with that? Um, Korean barbecue, or not Korean, sorry, the Japanese barbecue. So very similar style to kind of like you would have a Korean barbecue. Um, however, this was a Japanese barbecue, not to be mistaken with Korean. 
The meats were similar, but slightly different. Still had the short ribs, still had the nice piece of beef, etc., which you cooked yourself on kind of this little barbecue fire flame thing there. As, in fact, you can see it kind of smoking, and obviously something was burning at this point. Um, <laughs> so we were, yeah, let's just say we were kind of forgetting about the barbecue at certain points when we're focusing on the sushi. Um, really, we're just sitting here casually enjoying ourselves. So, uh, getting into some of those salmon rolls. Salmon rolls are usually my favorite, kind of like cr crispy or spicy salmon rolls. Uh, I didn't really enjoy the flavors. Um, again, overall the flavors were quite simplistic. Uh, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, it's just different. Um, here was it what they called a seafood sashimi, uh, which I did try. Which is essentially just a whole bunch of little bits of shrimp, scallops, um, different pieces of fish with kind of a spicy sauce on it. Uh, perhaps some of the reason why I didn't like like the real uh, the spicy salmon rolls, etc., was because the spicy sauce. The spicy sauce was very different than I'm, I'm used to. I'm kind of accustomed to like a spicy mayonnaise kind of style of sauce, whereas this version of sauce, as you kind of saw it on that spicy sashimi seafood sashimi dish, is just kind of like a red, almost hot sauce. Like it almost reminds me of like a sauce you'd put on like chicken wings, like a hot sauce you'd put on chicken wings. So. It was just very different, um, but again, not bad, just very different and not quite to my preference as much as like a spicy mayonnaise would have been. I guess just more what I'm kind of used to. So again, kind of recapping so far, we kind of found out that there was not much more of an expansive menu compared to lunchtime, although you are paying uh, about $10 more, about $33 before taxes and tip, etc. So you're looking at about $40 a person. It is a bit of money. Um, you know, so you have to be prepared for that. But again, I mean, the amount of food that you can potentially eat is unlimited. Staff overall and the speed items were coming out, it kind of varied. Um, when we first showed up, things were going a little slower. And then it sped up for a short time, but then it was slow again. Again, I mean, I understand there's other people in the restaurant. Um, but when, you know, you only have two hours until close and you're having to wait about 20-30 minutes for a dish, I mean, it just makes you have to double, like, question what you're ordering, because um, we didn't want to run out of time, of course, but, you know, at the same time, the speed was respectable and relevant for uh, the night. It was a uh, it was a Sunday night, it, again, it wasn't overly busy, there were definitely some people in there, but I mean, it wasn't like a full, full house. However, this place apparently is always, always, always packed, and I believe it. <laughs> So here's kind of those, uh, I think they're Alaskan rolls or California rolls, whatever they're, again, kind of calling them, which is essentially like a crab salad or seaweed salad uh, with avocado in seaweed and uh, the rice, which, I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Um, out of the meats we tried, we tried barbecue pork, or like a spicy pork, the beef, short, uh, we also tried short ribs, and then chicken. My personal favorite was the short ribs. I mean, who doesn't love short ribs? They're just like nice and fatty and juicy um, and delectable. That's one right there. See a little bone in it? And a little nice glistening pieces of fired beef, which is delicious. Absolutely delicious. So as you can tell, me and Scott, um, like we're just here having a meal. Uh, we're not here trying to like go overly crazy. We're just catching up. We're having a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know where he got that t-shirt from, but it's freaking awesome. Uh, I don't know where that other guy, what, like both these guys, I don't know where they got their t-shirts from, but something, or they're really, really cool. I heard you can get them at a Teespring store or something. Uh, links are probably in the description or something, but you know, I don't want to give that away. Um, going to a place like this, you do kind of have to be mindful and a little bit careful in regards to uh, your food safety. Because you are cooking your own items, they are, you know, obviously giving you tongs. You have to make sure you don't cross-contaminate. You know, at least throw your tongs in the fire for a little while to kind of sanitize them. And all that good jazzy, jazzy stuff. When we were here last time, they gave us a big pot of tea. Like, so we figured that was just, like, a custom, because we never asked for it. Although, look at those sashimi. Like, huge pieces. Which, this time, they didn't give us tea. And then look at those freaking pieces of sushi, like just crazy. Like, that's why we came. And that's where this place really earns its points. Because <clears throat> if you, I mean here, we're however far in the video, I'll give it away. Like if you can't tell, the taste was good, it wasn't amazing. The variety was okay. 
but the sizes, man, like, I've never been places where the sashimi is that big, uh, like, ever, not even half of that size, and then, I mean, you get really nice big pieces on the sushi as well, rolls are medium sized, definitely a good bit of rice on them, so I wouldn't call the maki rolls overly, overly generous, but when it comes to the sashimi, I mean, that's where it earns its points. Of course, there's a little piece of salmon sushi. How can you go wrong with some salmon sushi? Uh, they really only had salmon, the tuna. I think they had like a, maybe an eel, maybe a snapper. I think that was about it. Like very limited. Um, but like, I, it's a, was it butterfish? Maybe butterfish. I said snapper, but I think it's butterfish. There's not, like I said, there's really only four or five options. I I uh, I didn't actually show the menu to the camera I don't believe but I should have um, because a few more options I think would have been nice especially just with the price tag but I mean again you go to just douse yourself in sushi and that's what we did um, and because of that I am not complaining I mean we literally priced out how much it would be to go buy a salmon filet and I'm sure we ate about five of those or six of those each um, just with those crazy pieces of sashimi so now this kind of comes down to the question like if you're in Vancouver and you want to do an all you can eat sushi like should you come here and that was kind of the dilemma that we were faced with if you would have asked me a year ago I would say yes uh, and at lunchtime I still think the value is good enough where I would say yes at dinner time well let's just say we actually sized up the other options for all you can eat sushi in Vancouver and there didn't appear to be too 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 at many other really good viable options um, which we were really surprised about because there's a lot of good quality sushi in Vancouver. It just didn't appear that the uh, downtown Vancouver is really offering too, too, too much when it came to all you can eat. Um, I would recommend coming to this place at lunch. I mean, what was nice about at dinner, which at lunch there was a limited pieces of sashimi, it was only eight each. When you go for dinner, it is unlimited. But just, you know, be aware that you're really going for like a more traditional style again very simplistic sushi um, so again it's like straight fish it's like you know straight avocado it's not a lot of spicy sauces it's not fancy sauces it's not uh, you know like anything spicy is not even a spicy mayonnaise it's literally like a more like just straight kind of weird hot sauce um, so like if you just want straight up fish this is the place to go again like you can just go eat copious amounts of fillets huge pieces of sashimi um, and, 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 and they obviously keep breaking them. Like, we had no issues. We did have to ask for the uh, paper always. Like we always had to ask for the next um, order sheet. It was never just provide it. So, you know, I don't know if that was them trying to slow us down or not. But just ask for your order sheets. Get your food. I would recommend definitely, I'd say, the, the best items we had were, again, just gener generally the sashimi, these kind of salmon or... Alaskan, California roll, thingy things, whatever the heck they were. And then, I mean, the barbecue was good. I mean, you gotta, if you're gonna go, it's all included. So you gotta get some of those short ribbed actions in. So, that everybody, I want to thank you for joining me on my sick, snotty nose, but yet delicious sushi endeavor. Uh, hopefully, my scattered brain thoughts of this head cold are congruent enough and makes sense because I don't even make sense to myself right now. With that everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of the video. You're going to watch me and Scott even crush a little bit more sushi here. In fact, uh, if you want to see a tally for the total, take a guess. Guess how many pieces of sushi and sashimi we ate. And that, there's some really cool clips of Granville Island, which is a must-see in Vancouver at the end. So that everybody, enjoy the rest of the video and uh, huge thanks to Scott. Scott's the man. You guys will see him in some of my videos and uh, if you're not familiar with him, get to know him.
Dude, look at this tuna. Tuna looks great. It actually, I, I know. We're, for, like if we go to sushi, sushi, that's what we're gonna be eating. No? Yeah. Look at all the fruits and produce. We basically had the equivalents in Washington. Black grapes. Want some black grapes? Ooh, those are some firm black grapes. Oh, I left the bathroom window at Birch Bay. Oh, you leave it open? Did she say that? Yes. Oh, did it? But did any rain or anything no. get in? Just a, sorry mom, but they're down there, right? Yeah. So they shot scientific reason why. Yeah. So congrats. Congrats, Scott. Well, thank you. That's what we need, we need some chocolate. So it's like all you need is love and some chocolate. Congratulations, you finished your thank you. epic shake challenge. Yeah. Have, have, some, some, chocolate. have some chocolate. Too. Where's the congratulations? I had one, and it's the first time heat actually caused my stomach pain. Yeah, pain. Most right? of the time, it's just like my mouth is on fire. Yeah. This time's actual pain. Yeah. So, so, so like fun fact: I one time took a bite of a Trinidad scorpion pepper, like one of these. Um, actually, it was a bigger pepper, so probably about the equivalent of eating one of those. And holy jumpets, I had such bad stomach cramps. I was in so much pain, discomfort. I was salivating. Never again. Never again. It was so hot, but. Uh, would not recommend. And when you ate one of those, eh? I did. Would you? I had the same experience. Yeah. Less stomach cramps, but crying and all that. Yeah, would not recommend. It's the stomach cramps that got me at it, so. It's an ugly looking chicken. Yeah, it's just not, it's not pleasure. It doesn't look appetizing either, so. Just mountains casually in the background of cities. Unless nobody at all thought it was possible. Right. Because like, you know, even when I, when you, when you hear about it, you're like,